Hello, I'm Tony LeBron, and this is Iviani Figueroa. Welcome to Uplifting Missions, the program that features inspirational missions and ministries that are making an impact in the world. In today's program, we are featuring the Passion Translation, a new heart-level translation that expresses God's fiery heart of love to this generation using Hebrew, Greek, and Aramaic manuscripts. I will interview Brian Simmons, one of the key translators of the Passion Bible. Uplifting Missions is an original program on Uplift TV, a network that features movies and ministries the way Jesus Christ taught through parables and sermons. Your financial donation to support Uplift TV helps this network bring you more inspirational movies and ministries. Throughout this program, we will give you an opportunity to support Uplift TV and tell you how you can receive the Passion Translation books. But first, let me introduce our next segment, an inspiring video about the making of the Passion Translation. Passion Translation is for every person on earth to read and experience and encounter God. This is like having a Bible study with the author every time I sit down to read. The translation has brought scriptures to life that I've read hundreds of times. If you're hungry for God, if you want to know Him on another level than what you've been uh, given so far, there's something waiting for you. There's some secrets that he wants to unveil to you and to me. Never have I read a translation that I sense such a powerful anointing of God as I read. This version of Psalms has stopped me in my tracks a few times. And I believe the Passion Translation can help you discover more of what God has for your life. Our first guest on Uplifting Missions is Dr. Brian Simmons, a former missionary, linguist, minister, and Bible teacher. He is known as a passionate lover of God. After a dramatic conversion to Christ, Brian knew that God was calling him to go to the unreached people of the world. With his wife Candace and their three children, he spent nearly eight years in the tropical rainforest in Panama as a church planner, translator, and consultant. Brian studied linguistics and Bible translation principles with New Tribes Mission. Brian is is now working to complete the Passion Translation from the Ancient Hebrew. Welcome, Brian. Hey, thanks. We are so glad to have you. And we have a brand new uh, translation of the Bible, the pra Passion Translation. Tell me a little bit about this translation. Why a new translation? Well, the Passion Translation is a dynamic, new, contemporary version of the Bible, God's mm -hmm. Word. Uh, God wants His Word to be understood, to be received. He wants the Word of God to touch our heart, mm -hmm. not just our mind. So we're doing the Passion Translation Project with the intention of bringing light and fire to the hearts of men and women everywhere. That's good. Light and fire to the hearts of men and women everywhere. There are other translations. We have the King James, the New yep. King James, the New International Version, version Amplified. What makes this uh, version unique? Well, first I'd want to say I'm thankful for every version we have because they all bring truth to us. Read the Bible in whatever version you want to read it in. But the Passion Translation is a, a new uh, understanding of the text. We use some of the oldest manuscripts that are available. Uh, we're using language and vocabulary that touches the heart. We're not after trying to... Uh, uh, out literalize the last translation, okay. but we're trying to bring a contemporary understanding of the Word of God mm -hmm. in language that touches the heart. Sometimes it has to bypass the mind. Right. How many times have people read the Bible and said, I don't understand it, uh, I read it, I read a page, and then I have to go back and read it again because I don't understand it. You won't have that problem with the Passion Translation. It is very clear, readable, understandable, 
and it's for everyone. That's awesome. Give me an example of a verse that we would, a common verse that we would know, maybe in the King James or the NIV, and how would it translate in the Passion Version? Well, the shortest verse in uh, the shortest verse in the New Testament: mm-hmm. Jesus wept. Okay. That's uh, a very wonderful, sterile right. way of saying Jesus wept. But what we, how we translate it, mm-hmm. tears streamed down Jesus' face. Very good. So uh, you, you can get a picture, yes, a mental it's picture. A, so much more descriptive. Yeah, it, 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 it portrays what really happened. Jesus didn't just wipe a tear yeah. from his eyes. Mm-hmm. He was weeping uh, almost inconsolably. Mm. Over the loss of his friend Lazarus, mm-hmm. and knowing the uh, the future, he was going to raise him from the dead in just a moment. Yeah. But seeing the pain that death brought to the family, mm. it struck his heart, and he tears were just streaming down his face. Amazing. For those that are King James Version, NIV, Truist, and they might be a little concerned about the accuracy or the integrity of, of maintaining Scripture, what would you say to them? Well, we've, we've sought uh, as, as diligently as we can mm-hmm. to bring the most accurate presentation of the Koine Greek and Biblical Hebrew and to bring it into today's language. Mm. Uh, we've had a number of scholars look over what we've done. We have scholars on our team that are specifically there to help us keep it in the in bounds, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and uh, they themselves have been uh, encouraged by what, what we're doing. So it's accurate, but it, it brings meaning. Mm-hmm. And I think we don't want to just read the Bible. How many times have we read the Bible? Yeah. We want to understand it. Yeah. We want to know what God's heart mm-hmm. of love, what He's really saying to us. And so that's why we're doing the best we can to keep it accurate, but to amplify the emotions of God's heart, the passion of His love for us, so that people are moved by it. That's so good. We were talking before the program, and I told you about a uh, missions trip that I went on to India, and there was a young man by the name of Narish, and I sang at a high school, and he was a high school student, and he asked me to pray for him because he really doesn't understand the Bible. And so in my American mind, I thought, well, do you have a youth pastor? Do you have a pastor? He quickly told me, no, his parents are Hindu. Hindu priests just beat him up, and he sits under a tree during recess, and he doesn't understand the Bible. And so as you're telling me about this, this would be a translation that maybe would be easier for him to understand, touch his heart. Absolutely. I don't think you'll, you'll hear that from people reading the Passion Translation. Right. They may look at a familiar verse and say, oh, you worded it differently. Mm-hmm. But we, we purposely are doing that because familiarity mm. often dulls the, the impact and the passion and the fire mm. of the Word of God mm. by our familiarity with it. Yeah. So we're, we're putting it in phrases and terms that will... It, it will move the reader. I, I, it's just, it's awesome. I know so I'm good. passionate about yeah. the passion That's translation. That's so good. But, but a word that you were telling me about, amazing. How do you translate that word amazing? Yeah, the word amazing. When Jesus taught, it says they were amazed mm-hmm. at his teaching. Mm-hmm. But amazing in our language today, I mean, I think coffee is amazing. Exactly. You know, I, I, amazing can be everything from mm-hmm. a pair of shoes to whatever. But the Greek word is ekplaso, mm. ekplaso. And it means ek is out from, pleso Mm. is breath. Mm. So it means to have the breath knocked out of you. So good. When is the last time you read the Bible and you had the breath knocked out of you? So good. Who would you say that are the people that will be most interested in this, um, in the Passion Translation? Well, I think those that want to understand the Word of God, Mm. uh, first-time Bible readers Mm -hmm. that have never picked up a Bible, Mm -hmm. uh, I know that it's going to touch them. For those that have studied the Bible all their lives, Mm -hmm. it's still going to bring a slant. It's going to bring an understanding Mm -hmm. using words that are not so common but are specific to that scripture Mm -hmm. that will unlock understanding to people. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I would say everyone, everywhere. What responses are you getting from those who are reading the Passion, and what are they saying? We're getting phenomenal responses. Mm -hmm. Every day, emails are pouring in, Facebook posts about people that are reading the Bible Mm -hmm. and loving it. Mm -hmm. Uh, The one response that I get the most that I really love hearing is someone that says, I gave up reading the Bible Mm -hmm. because I can't understand it. I don't even read it anymore. But somebody handed me the Passion Translation, and just reading it, I got so engaged, I couldn't stop. 
I kept reading and reading with understanding the Word of God. Now, that is exciting. Yeah. Any pastor would love to hear that, that people are reading the Bible, loving it, and understanding it. That's so good. Uh, Dr. Brian, when we think of legacy, of life legacy, and you are embarking on this journey, bringing a brand new version to touch our hearts of the Bible, where do you see the Passion Bible 10 years, 50 years, 100 years from now? Well, I would hope that it would become the, the most read mm. Bible in human history. Yes. Because uh, some of the, the things the Lord has shown me, and the, I feel His personal presence as mm. I'm translating and working on the text, that I know He's, it's uncovering truths and perhaps secrets that need to be uncovered and revealed for the last days. So I, I think it's going to impact the world. It's going to make a difference in the lives of millions of people. Amazing, amazing. Well, I'm excited to, to read this new version of the Bible, the Passion, Passion Translation. In our next segment, Iviani will be joining Dr. Brian and myself, and we will be looking at the 12 different books of the Passion uh, Translation, and you will have an opportunity to get a copy for you and your loved ones. Thank you, Brian. Translation is for every person on earth to read and experience and encounter God. This is like having a Bible study with the author every time I sit down to read. This version of Psalms has stopped me in my tracks a few times. And I believe the Passion Translation can help you discover more of what God has for your life. Uplift TV is excited to offer the Passion Translation books for your donation to help Uplift TV acquire and produce more inspirational movies and programs that impacts lives. For your donation of $35, you'll receive the Passion Translation of Psalms, Proverbs, Luke, and Acts. These popular books of the Bible are available in two Passion Translation books for your donation of $35. For your donation of $100, you'll receive a set of 12 Passion Translation books representing 22 of the most popular books of the Bible including Psalms, Proverbs, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, and many others representing 22 books of the Bible. These 12 Passion Translation books are available in a special box set for your donation of $100. You can order the Passion Translation books online at upliftingmissions.com or call 844-7-UPLIFT. That's 844-787-5438. Or order online at upliftingmissions.com. Tony and I are joined by Dr. Brian Simmons to hear more about the Passion Translation Bible. Hey, I'm so excited being here with you, Evie. We are so happy to have you. And Tony. Yes, well, we're so glad that you are here. We have this great little package here, the Passion Translation Package. There are 12 books included. Um, let me know why 12 and a little bit about each book. Well, 12 is a Bible number. Yes. But, uh, the reason we have 12 is because this encompasses virtually all of the New Testament, most of the New Testament. Okay. And it's, um, you know, I can only translate it a book at a time. So our publishers and I decided that it would be a great way to present this passion translation to people Very nice. the way it was written originally, okay. which is one book at a time. Mm -hmm. right. It was 300 years into the church history before the, the, the church even had a completed New Testament. All they had were individual books. So I think it's good to read it that way. Yes. Yeah. So we've got uh, Luke and Acts, Psalms. Let me just go through it quick. Song of Songs. Letters of Love, oh my. Okay. I was going to call it Love Letters, and uh -huh. I thought, no, Letters of Love, that would be better. Uh, Proverbs, Mark, the Gospel of Mark, miracles throughout that gospel. Book of Romans, what pastor doesn't love the Book of Romans? It's <laughs> full of the truth and teaching of, of, of God through the Apostle Paul. Proverbs, Letters from Heaven, this is a compilation of Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, okay. First and Second Timothy. Mm -hmm. We've put them all in one, in one volume because they're smaller. And uh, Hebrews and James, okay. Hebrews and James are put together because Hebrews is really about faith. Mm. And James is about works. 
Mm. So faith works. Yes. Yeah. It really does work, yes, doesn't yes. it? It does. <laughs> and John, the eternal love of God in the Gospel of John, Matthew. Oh, the Gospel of Matthew. I love it. And First and Second Corinthians, it has the love chapter in there. So, yeah, those so are the 12. Good. Wow. So good. So what's unique so, about just the Passion Translation overall, these all have different titles. And I think that there's reasons behind them, obviously. But can you go through some of them and explain kind of why, for example, Romans is grace and glory? Yeah, most people look at Romans and they see the righteousness of God. That's a common theological term found mm -hmm. in the book of Romans. But I see it more as the grace of God, the mercy that brings salvation, and that grace concludes in bringing us to glory. Mm -hmm. Wow. So grace and glory fit together. So good. Uh, Song of Songs. That's my favorite book. Divine the Romance. Way. Why? Oh, Why yeah. is it your favorite? <laughs> well, maybe I'm a romantic. I don't okay. know. But I, I really love love stories. I think we all love love stories. And there's no greater love story than the love of Jesus Christ for you, for me, for all of us. Absolutely. And we are his bride. Yes. When we believe in him, we become part of the bride of Christ, the body of Christ. And to know that there's an Old Testament book that that contains this exquisite love story between me and Jesus. So we call it divine romance. And that was the first book that you translated, correct? Yeah. I could guarantee you it has a lot more than erotica in it. Okay. It speaks about <laughs> romance with Jesus Christ. Very good. We have wow. Psalms, Poetry on Fire. I love that. Yeah. That's exciting. <laughs> yeah. That's a good title. Let's talk about well, that. You know, David, the name David comes from the Hebrew word Dabi. Okay. And that word really means a boiling, seething pot, mm -hmm. a pot boiling over. So David doesn't just mean beloved, it means passionate. So his psalms are poetry on fire. So good. So it's just mm -hmm. packed full of, of uh, scripture and mm -hmm. verses that will smack you with the fire mm -hmm. of God. You're going to love it. Let's go through a couple more titles just to give the audience, you know, just a, a preview of what's here. So Proverbs, uh, Proverbs Wisdom from Above. Yep. Um, and then we've Look got that. To the Lovers of God. Do you want to go through some of those titles? Yeah, I'd love okay. to. Well, who doesn't need wisdom? You know, the book of Proverbs is a book full of wisdom. I, I find as I go through Proverbs once or twice a year and study it and pray through it, it has changed mm -hmm. my life. It's made me a better husband, a better dad. I hope, hopefully, a better man in every way. So, yeah, Proverbs, wisdom from above. We all need wisdom from above. You know, I think you'll like this, Evie. Okay. But uh, have you ever gone to church on Mother's Day and heard a sermon about the virtuous woman? Absolutely. I've also heard it at a women's conference. <laughs> oh, yeah. Every Mother's Day. Yeah, I, I hear it all the woman. time. Well, I'm about to ruin your Mother's Day right now <laughs> oh because my gosh. the virtuous woman in the book of Proverbs, chapter 31, is not really just a woman. It's about the bride of Christ. It is a divinely composed parable by the wisest man ever to live, Solomon, about the last day's radiant church. And he uses the word chayel for virtuous. That's the Hebrew word that we translate virtuous. But that's an anemic translation to say virtuous. Chayel is used almost exclusively for warring men. David's warring mighty men. They are the Chael. They're the mighty ones. So it's a mighty woman. Whoever she is, she's like Wonder Woman. She's got, <laughs> yes. she's got the goods. She's got the, the fire, the power. She's mighty. She's not afraid to go into battle. And she cares for others. So all of the verses of the book of Proverbs related to this virtuous woman, they're really talking about the church rising up with our identity as the mighty army so of the Lord. That's so awesome. it's not yeah. just a female chapter. I know that's right. how we always read it. Right. But hey, we could be mighty men okay. too. Okay, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. You know what's exciting? We have the 12 books of the Passion Translation. They are available to you for a gift to Uplift TV. And there's information on the bottom of your screen how you can find out more information how you can get uh, these books at home. Now, we're noticing, you know, this is a different translation. We're noticing that Luke and Acts are actually combined together. Can you tell us why? Well, Luke and Acts were written by the same human author. That was Dr. Luke, a mm -hmm. physician mm -hmm. who traveled with Paul and received divine revelation from God. But we put Luke and Acts as one because you, you have the gospel of Luke, which, which is the facts of the gospel, and then you have the Acts 
yes. of the Holy Spirit through His right. church. Mm -hmm. So the fact, the acts always follow the facts. The facts. Mm -hmm. So you don't just want facts, you want the acts. So the Holy Spirit has anointed this book, Luke and Acts, mm. two volumes written by Dr. Luke. Wow. And by the way, he wrote it to a man named Theophilus. Right. Well, Theophilus means lover of God. Okay. They've never found that man historically. Mm. He never surfaced in history. Could it be that the man he's really writing to is the man and woman of God? I write to you. Wow. I write to you, most excellent lover of mm. God. So you're the one this book is written to. That's so good. And as a, a new believer, um, maybe you're new to the Bible, the book of Luke has the life of Christ, and then the book of Acts is the history of the early church. So it's a wonderful book to start off with. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I think this is a great starting point for yeah. someone new to the Bible mm -hmm. or new to faith in Christ. And they can get, like you said, they can get the whole package. The virgin this, birth. Oh, start with yeah. There. yeah. <laughs> Could I read a little bit yeah, about Yeah, absolutely. I so love yeah. the, the Christmas story mm -hmm. or the virgin birth story here in the Gospel of Luke. And the portion I'm going to read is about the angels. Okay. okay. That night in a field near Bethlehem, there were shepherds watching over their flocks when suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared in radiant splendor before them lighting up the field with the blazing glory of God. And the shepherds were terrified. But the angel reassured them, Don't be afraid. I have come to bring you good news, the most joyous news the world has ever heard. It is for everyone, everywhere. For today in Bethlehem, a rescuer was born for you. He is the Lord Yahweh, the Messiah. You'll recognize him by this miracle sign. You'll find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth, and lying in a feeding trough. That's so good. A rescuer has come. Our Savior. Wow. Our awesome. rescuer. Yeah. yeah. It's powerful. So good. So good. We have the book, First and um, Corinthians? First and yeah. Second Corinthians. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Well, of course, they, they go together because mm -hmm. they both were written to the church at Corinth mm -hmm. by Paul. And First Corinthians is a book of love. Mm -hmm. The love chapter. Yeah. You hear yeah. it at we weddings. We hear it at weddings all the yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> the, the love of God that... You know, love is patient, love is kind. Let me read some of this. Yes. This is yes, so, yes, yes. like, oh, my. It shouldn't just be for weddings. No, it's, it should it's for be life. <laughs> every day of our yes. lives, we should be consumed with this. If I were to speak with eloquence in earth's many languages and in the heavenly tongues of angels, yet I didn't express myself with love, my words would be reduced to the hollow sound of nothing more than a clanging cymbal. Love is large and incredibly patient. Love is gentle, consistently kind to all. It refuses to be jealous when blessing comes to someone else. It doesn't brag about its own achievements nor inflate its own importance. Love does not traffic in shame and disrespect. So good. So exciting. Uh, thank you, Dr. Brian. And coming up next, you will find out how you can f um, get your copy of the Passion Translation for a gift to uplift and also a special offer that we have for Psalms and Proverbs and Luke and Acts. Uplift TV is excited to offer the Passion Translation books for your donation to help Uplift TV acquire and produce more inspirational movies and programs that impacts lives. For your donation of $35, you'll receive the Passion Translation of Psalms, Proverbs, Luke, and Acts. These popular books of the Bible are available in two Passion Translation books for your donation of $35. For your donation of $100, you'll receive a set of 12 Passion Translation books representing 22 of the most popular books of the Bible, including Psalms, Proverbs, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, and many others representing 22 books of the Bible. These 12 Passion Translation books are available in a special box set for your donation of $100. You can order the Passion Translation books online at upliftingmissions.com or call 844-7-UPLIFT. That's 844-787-5438. Or order online at upliftingmissions.com. We're so grateful that Dr. Brian Simmons was able to join us today. And man, did he just share so much inspiration with the Passion Translation. Yes. I know personally, I gained a lot just from uh, Proverbs when he talked about Proverbs 31. As women, we're, we're feeling all this pressure to um, you know, just be that woman. But really, it's about the bride of Christ and the church. And so there's just so much in this particular book. It really inspired me. Absolutely. And I loved Luke and Acts, the title, To the Lovers of God. And to think that Theophilus really is to all of us, lovers of God. God. Just an amazing time with Dr. Brian. 
Wow, and you know what? Thank you for joining us today. And stay tuned for the next Uplifting Missions on Uplift TV. Uplift TV is excited to offer the Passion Translation books for your donation to help Uplift TV acquire and produce more inspirational movies and programs that impacts lives. For your donation of $35, you'll receive the Passion Translation of Psalms, Proverbs, Luke, and Acts. These popular books of the Bible are available in two Passion Translation books for your donation of $35. For your donation of $100, you'll receive a set of 12 Passion Translation books representing 22 of the most popular books of the Bible, including Psalms, Proverbs, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, and many others representing 22 books of the Bible. These 12 Passion Translation books are available in a special box set for your donation of $100. You can order the Passion Translation books online at upliftingmissions.com or call 844-7-UPLIFT. That's 844-787-5438. Or order online at upliftingmissions.com.